treasures. <laughs> First and foremost, I'd like you to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. <laughs> Today we're going to be making a cake, okay? Since it's my, my son is a month old now, I'm going to make him a little cake, okay? But we're going to need some material first, okay? We're going to need acrylic paint. Paint brushes. And paper plate to put your acrylic paint on. And we're going to need masking tape, 1.88 or any tape that you have. And you're going to need to pay attention. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> to make this cake, I got a, a, a smaller a smaller plate. I'm going to put the cake on that. Okay. We're going to start off sticky side out. Take your piece of tape. Ball it up, stick it on there, like so. Take a piece of tape. We're going to keep doing that until we get it kind of round, like, like the plate. So just keep balling tape up. I made a cake before. I think I'll make a caramel cake, maybe. What y'all think I should make it? A double layer or single layer? I'll make a single layer. But you can do it, you can stack it up to three layers, you know. That's good. Don't go, just go around on the plate like this. See, sticky side out. Just go around, put your tape inside. Hi, hi, hi. Man, they said it's supposed to be a, a storm today. I don't know if it's coming or not, but it, it don't look like it's gonna do anything, but it's drizzling outside. Drizzling. Okay. Here we go. Now take it and just press it in. Press it in. And then go around the edges. Just, just go around. Now this is what I, I could just make it just plain like this, but I want to take a notch out of here. So I'm going to take tape and just spread it apart. Just put your thumb in there, just press in. Like somebody took a knife and cut a chunk out. I had forgot to do this when I first started. Let's 
wish I had some scissors. But I'm just gonna do it like so. See, see, see the notch I got it, I took out of there. So we we won't do it like that. Like so. Let's uh do another layer. Why not make a double decker? Shoot. Why not? Going to draw some more tape up. Put it at the top. This time we're going to leave a notch. We we'll got that other one there. Leave a notch there. Okay. Put this one on the other side. Yeah, my son, Lil' June June. He's uh, a month old. So, just gonna create this cake for him. See the, see the top? See, see? I'm gonna do it like that. Then we wanna dent, dent, dent in, right? At the spot where it joins up there okay so where where the top layer goes we're gonna put a line right there just like so all right now we need to put some more on it on the front right here Oh, yeah, yeah. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all doing fine. Just fine. All right. Now we got the... Hold on. Just want to put a little more tape on here to... Let it look more prominent right on the side. See, I know it don't look like a cake now, but you'll thank me later. You will thank me later. There we go. See that? See that cut right in the center? Don't worry about how it looks now because we're going to put. Scan on it. No. Guess we're gonna put icing on it. Now now we got the cake form like this. See? Now, story time. This story time is about Thorn Ridge High School. Thorn Ridge High School was a school that I worked at. Where I had to be like 20-something years old. Maybe in my mid-20s. I worked at Thorn Ridge High School, and it was it was a good school. It was a good school at first. It was a good school. So when I got there, we had to be briefed for uh, a day. What they talked to us and everything like that about the students and stuff like that. And the main thing that they told us, the males, was... And the females, too. They told them, do not get friendly with these girls down here. Don't get friendly with the girls. Okay? 
don't get real friendly with the girls. And so, and and they told us don't don't get real, just don't be real good friends with them, because they would take they would seize that and take advantage of you. They will. So after that, we got to work, and it was this other guy that that came in when I started. We'll call him Mike. Mike uh, came in with me, and we kind of became friends. But one day I I went to I dropped him off at home, and then went home. But then the next day he was waiting by my car again. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. So it took it. It was like a whole couple of weeks. He was riding with me, and keep in mind. It was only 10 minutes from Dalton, Illinois to my house. But I had to go a little further out to drop him off. And he wasn't giving me gas money. He, he wasn't giving me nothing. So I'm like, man, uh, I really don't have that much gas, you know. I don't have that much gas today, you know. He said, oh, just drop me off uh, here, right here, you know. I can walk from there. I said, man, this dude, he don't catch hints at all. He get a check just like I do. So you got to, you know, pay me some money to drop, since it's going out of my way. If it was going, if I was going home and then I drop him off and then go proceed on home, that'd have been cool. I wouldn't even ask him for any money. But anyway, so... Uh, we worked there for about, maybe it was six months in. Mike had started talking to this little girl. Well, she was uh, she was in high school, but he start he start seeming like he liked her, like like he'll see her, he'll slip her fifty cents or something for lunch when she go to lunch and stuff like that. So he was just giving her change and everything, you know. So I I saw that I saw him give her fifty cent, or he gave her a dollar this time, and I pulled him to the side. I said, "Hey, hey, 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 Mike, you know that's a no no, don't you?" He said, "Oh man, you know, you know, they just need little little help and stuff like that. You know, sometimes I said I know that, but you can't do it. It's against the policy, okay?" He didn't want to listen to me. So he, he continued to, you know, give her a little change and stuff like that. Then one day, he slipped up and wrote her a letter and slipped it to her. It was wrote on some uh, a napkin. He gave it to her. And this letter said, hey, uh, I would like to take you out. Maybe... We can go out to, to some pizza place and, you know, go to a movie or something. That's what he said to her. And when she got that, that was it. She told him. She came to me and told me. And see, I couldn't cover it up. I couldn't cover it up. See, they people don't understand that, man. And he didn't understand it. Talking about, man, I thought you were my boy and stuff. But look, it's a difference between being friendly with each other and doing something else. You know, that's not that's not right. So I couldn't do anything. So after she told me and her parents came down there and I talked to the parents, I said, something got to be done about this. So I called them in the office. When, when her, her father was getting off work and finna come down there. So I knew I had to get him out the building. Get him out the building now. Because her father's coming up here and, it's, and it may be something else. You know. So he came in the office. He said, hey, what's up? He was happy and everything. I said, have a seat. Have a seat. He sat down and said, look. Remember the meeting we had and, you know, about... You know, fraternizing with the, the, the young girls and stuff like that. 
He said, yeah, yeah. And I told him, I said, well, unfortunately, this this is this is a, a, a problem we got. And I'm going to have to ask for your ID and stuff. He said, what for? What, what for? What for? I said, I'm going to have to ask for your ID, your, your, your uh, swipe card and everything. All right? Until maybe three days, then, then you'll hear somebody from someone. And he's like, he didn't have a clue. Talking about he didn't have a clue. And I said, what is this? What is this? You, you sent this girl. You sent her, uh, uh, gave, slipped her a note. And signed it, you idiot. Why you have to sign it and put your phone number down there? He said, oh, no, oh, oh, oh. I, I said, no, it's no excuses. Now, look, I'm going to tell you just like this. Her father is on his way up here. So you better get out. You better get out of here. And boy, he started crying. Because the, the job paid well. And, and then he started crying. And man, it, it hurt me so bad to do that. But see, that's why I wasn't cut out to fire people, you know. And I had to do it at the hotel too. So I wasn't cut out to, to firing people like that. So I said, I because I, I, I have so much empathy for him. You know, I felt sorry for this guy. So I told him, I said, look, I'm sorry, man. But I, this, it's out of my hands now, okay? So you're going to have to go. So so he left, took all the stuff. He turned his ID, his swipe card, and his keys and everything in. And he went on out. So after he went out, oh, it's storm, getting ready to storm now. I hear thunder. After that, like three days later, I guess they gave him the verdict. Uh, human resources, they took it to human resources and they reviewed everything and, and they got rid of him because he, he violated the policy. So he kept coming down there, he kept coming down there. Not to see the little girl no more, but he kept coming down there like he worked there. So. I told him, I said, look, you can't come down here. I went out to him. I told him, I said, look, you can't come down here no more. Okay. You know, he wanted to wait on me to drop him off at the house now. Because he walked up there and he wanted me to drop him off. I said, look, I can't drop you off. I can't do it. So go. So he left the next day. He was back again, talking to some students out there and stuff. And I, told, I said, look, next time you come on this property, you will be arrested for criminal trespassing, okay? I'm sorry. You don't, you haven't been getting it. So he finally left. But then the police got him. And they, they locked him up for a couple of days, maybe two days. But he had to register... As a sex offender, he had to he had to register. So that man, I'm telling you, man, that that is a terrible place. But Thorn Ridge was good. It was good. And then after that, they put the metal detectors up, metal detectors to to see if people got weapons on them. And it was so many students coming up there with weapons on them, to the point that we had to shake down the lockers. Certain times we would shake down the lockers. You know, we said we have all the students come out and stand next to a locker, open a locker, and then we go through, search through to uh, find contraband, uh, knives, and everything, you know. So, anyway, my last day there, I resigned from there because I was moving to Memphis. So, I resigned. Reluctantly, you know, I resigned and the day of my resignation, there was a huge, huge fight, a gang fight. So we were all, the whole staff was out there trying to break it up, break it up. And we end up falling down a flight of stairs. A lot of students and teachers and 
everybody. He fell down the stairs and they broke the, the front door out, the glass, and spilled out into the, uh, the football field. And it was a free for all. It was a big free for all. So I had to let it go. The police were called and there was a couple of people got arrested, but most of the kids, they all scattered like roaches. And we, you know, when you in numbers, it's hard to, to key in on one person. So it, it, it was cool. They ran, they ran in each, every way, north, south, east, and west. They was just gone. So after that, that was it for me. But I never forgot that high school. It was, it was pretty cool. And it was a learning experience because I had never uh, worked at a high school before, you know. Now I know I can do it. If I want to switch over from the library and go somewhere, I can go to a school, you know. But pretty much I don't want that headache no anymore, you know. I don't want that headache. So let's get back started. Now we're going to put the icing on. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go right around it like this, around the sides. See that? And then just take your finger and just go right around the seams of, them. right around the seam, right around. Okay. Gonna go again. This one is going to come out far and then fold it in and get it right on there. Then we're going to do that same thing again like this. Take your thumb and just go right around. Okay. I'm going to go on the top. Move it down soft too. Smooth it kind of soft. Don't be too forceful with it. See? You see how it's, it's becoming? Just do like that. Now, press down a little bit. Make sure your, the whole palm of your hand is on, on the top of it. If you, you making a big cake, just push, press down gently. Okay. Now we're going to do the other side. Come over the edge, like so. Come out, then fold it. Like so. Okay. Now, I'm going to go on the top. Hold it down. See? Now we're going to put some in between here. Yeah, it's storming out there now. And I just mentioned it too. I hope it ain't like they say it's going to be strong winds and trees and stuff falling because that's not too good there. See? Press it in. Then take it. Just squeeze it down. Gently. Just shape it. Just shape it into the shape. Okay, okay. There you go. Then go around the edges so you can see that that rim. You see that? See that hump there? That's what you want to see. Then we're gonna go around the bottom. 
Yeah. Fold it under. Just like a blanket. Like you making up a bed. Okay, now, see, now, let's paint them now, we're going to go with, this is going to be like a caramel cake, so, what in the world, how do they get this, let me see, There we go. All right. A little orange. But you can use a straight brown for caramel cake. I'm just particularly using this because I can make it the color I want. Just, uh, is this black or is this? Oh, this black. Where is my blue? Oh my goodness. Oh well. I uh I don't have a blue up here, so I'm gonna have to go with this color. Brown. And we got our brushes. Just gonna mix a little orange in there to get it, get a little tinge in it. But you can make your strawberry or oh, fudge ripple for all I care. <laughs> all right, now just want to go over the cake. Like so. Just want to paint over it. Make sure you get that orange in there real good so it can really show up. Yeah, there you go. That's why I like mixing mine. You know, I mix my paint. Because it makes it better. Sometimes you go straight with a brown color or a solid color. It really looks just basic. This put a little bit flair to it. Flair. All right, we got this here. See, I lift it up so I won't get the plate, get all that paint on the plate because the plate is supposed to accent the piece, the cake. So we gotta get it right here. Get it on the front. Now. Okay. There we go. Now, oh my God. I got to be right back, y'all. I got to get yellow. Be right back.
All right. I'm back. We got yellow. Well, uh, orange yellow. So we're going to go with that. We're going to take a small brush, like something like this. We'll take that and we're going to paint right on the inside. Just like this. Hold on, I'm gonna, let me get this paint paint it right quick and then I'll show it to you guys. Because it looks good. Like I said, you can make strawberry or any any color that you want. Any color that cake is, you know. See, look at that. Look. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Take a slice of that. Just want to go right, right there. Like so. See that? Just want to just go right down the center. Now, now we're going to get a little bit of your brown, find out right where the seam is, and this dot. It's simple. Keep on going. There we go. Now, then we want to paint. Make sure we get all of this painted. Let me put a little more yellow. This down in here just want to make sure we get all of that in there okay Get right around here. You never really see all the spots that you miss until you start showing it. A neat little cake. All right. Now we got to get a candle put in there. Just want to poke a little hole in the top.
this for my boy so this is this a month he just a month old old so just gonna put a little candle up there hold up i got to wipe this off Put a little candle. Twirl. I hear ambulance outside. Just want to Put a little flame on there. A little flame. Just a little flame. Then we want to paint the candle. What we gonna do? What, what color we gonna? We, we paint the candlestick white. All right, just want to get this whole thing right there. There we go. See that A little candle at the top and everything. All right, here we go. This is for little June June. Happy one month to you. Happy one month to you. Happy one month, little June June. Happy one month to you. I love you, son. Thanks for, for viewing my Mask and Tape Treasures. I hope you enjoyed. But i like you to like, subscribe, and... Leave me a comment if you like. And hit that bell notification. And share, share, share. All right, y'all. See ya.